The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Brethren, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist, steadfast in the faith. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Thanks be to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord. We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed through our own grievous fault. Wherefore, we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that with thy wonted favor thou wouldst be our God and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend us, from nightly fears and fantasies, Red underfoot our ghostly foe, that no pollution we may know. O oh, Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost and thee doth live and reign eternally. Oh, 
for the sickness that destroyeth in the noonday. A thousand shall fall beside thee, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Shalt thou behold and see the reward of the ungodly? For thou, Lord, art my hope, thou hast set thine house of defense very high. There shall no evil happen. shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee in their hands that thou hurt not thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt go upon the lion and Adam, the young lion and dragon shalt thou tread under thy feet, because he hath set his love upon me. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. O thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of an eye. Hide me. 
and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we, who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world, may repose upon thy eternal changelessness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A prayer of Thomas a Kempis. Thine own praise, O my God, thou thyself art, nor canst thou worthily be praised by any other than thyself. For of all things thou art the maker and ruler, and from thee do all things come, whose excellence and whose works Declare the glory of thy name. Ever, therefore, shouldst thou be praised and blessed by every creature. May then, O oh my God, thine own incomprehensible essence, thine own unspeakable almightiness, thine own unsearchable wisdom, thine own unutterable sweetness, thine own boundless tenderness, praise thee. Praise thee, thy supreme goodness. Praise thee, thy surpassing mercy, thy eternal power also, and thy transcendent majesty. Praise thee, thy infallible truth, thy unchangeable equity, thy inextinguishable light, thy knowledge from which no secrets are hid, thy own unsearchable substance. Praise thee, thine unerring justice, thy all-wise providence, thy most calm governance, and thy unconquerable power. Praise thee, thy infinite dignity, thy supreme loving kindness, thy all-surpassing sweetness, thy peerless beauty, and thy all-excelling charity. May every name that can be used of thee and every word that can be spoken of thee praise thee and magnify thee forever. We ask all of this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest. For it is the Lord only that makest us dwell in safety. Abide with us, O Lord. For it is toward evening and the day is far spent. As the watchmen look for the morning, so do we look for the Come with the dawning of the day, and make thyself known in the breaking of bread. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and Merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Bless us and preserve us.
Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who by the cooperation of the Holy Ghost didst prepare the body and soul of the glorious Virgin Mother Mary to become a dwelling place meet for thy Son, grant that, as we rejoice in her commemoration, aided by her gracious intercession, we may be delivered from present evils and from everlasting death through the same Christ our Lord. May the divine assistant remain with us always.